The Architect Lens, the Salesforce User Experience Designer Certification. Welcome to another episode as we go into a Salesforce certification. Today we're looking at the Salesforce User Experience Designer Certification. I especially appreciate this one because I've been a developer turned architect and led the delivery of many applications and I can very much respect doing a great user experience. Um, I can really appreciate when a true designer comes in and really adds that pizzazz to an application. For this certification, we're looking at more of the holistic view of being a designer, starting from the beginning of the, process, the design process all the way through taking care of key elements, even such as usability, in addition to the design. So I'm gonna be talking not about how to pass the certification, but what parts of the certification I found especially interesting from an architect's point of view. So I start each one certification review by being at the trailhead. And we're looking at the certifications, the designer, and we're looking at the user experience designer. You're gonna come here and you're gonna look at the trail mix. So this one has a good 37 hours of a trail mix for preparing. So we're gonna dive into this one. And really when we look at this trail mix, there's two key elements. There is gonna be going through these trails and then there's also understanding the Salesforce Light Lightning Experience Design Guide, which we're gonna take a look at. So let's dive in. So we're talking about the first phase in design is we're having user adoption, knowing whether the users are actually using our Salesforce. Here is an important one, getting into the user story creation, where we're gonna construct a user story and being able to understand what a story is, what are its elements, is it independent, negotiable, estimatable, testable, being able to understand that story, which essentially has the who, the what, and the why for that story. Now we have innovation customer discovery, more of the mental approaches for empathizing with your customer, creating your particular types, really diving in and getting to know about your customer. We have the innovation and ideating and prototyping, where you talked about creating an inspiring, working in teams. And if you come down to pitch your prototype, again, I've been in many sessions with these little stickies. You wanna come up with the minimum lovable project, MVP, minimum viable project. You prototype, you pick, you kind of draw things, a lot of, lot of laying things on the board. So I think this is a very important skill of the UI designer is walking through the prototyping. Now this innovation solution is more about taking your concept, building your business case, and learning you know, what skills it takes to build momentum. <laughs> now another part of UX is the research. Knowing about your research plan, crafting your questions, collecting your data. So here on the research plan, we have using a UX research, um, decide are you gonna be doing, you know, what's the scope, what's the timeline. Defining down here, are you gonna be doing interviews, finding the right people, rec rec recruiting the right users, and even how many people are gonna be in your study. And I've stood in many a time where I've gone in and looked over um, users as they were working and talked about visual elements on the screen and drawing out of them the, the good elements and the elements that needed improvement. So I definitely agree on, you know, these elements of, there are times where you need to have a study and see what users are doing so you can understand the challenges they're facing. Choosing a good research model, the behavior, the attitudinal, the qualitative and the quantitative can be very important also. You'll see that there are surveys or individual interviews and focus groups. These are definitely approaches you can take. Process mappings can be very helpful. This is, um, there is a lot of overlap between a UI designer and the business designer, understanding the process mapping, being able to know the business process notation, being able to see a detailed process map, and as the UI designer, being able to know how your solution fits in. Here's the SIPOC, SIPOC, with the suppliers, the input, the process, the output, and from a user interface perspective, being able to understand how the inter user interface supports this. The value stream map. 
And you definitely need to get into the UX personas. Definitely need to be able to do demo storytelling, being able to do demos. We're now gonna move into how you can customize the Lightning experience. And this is a situation where the UX designer definitely needs to know the capabilities of Salesforce from the customizing the apps, setting up the list views, the record highlights, details, buttons. So you want them, you want the, your UI UX designer to know what Salesforce can do and be able to guide them to more out of the box capabilities and only go to custom when you need to. <clears throat> I found the web accessibility very, very helpful and an important element from learning the elements of an accessible web page, learning beyond the mouse, how the visual, the, the verbal card readers work. This one was very important and I learned some really good information just recently by diving into these trails around where things have come with usability and screen readers, knowing about your layout. So I found these elements of the study very helpful. Web accessibility, the writing for web accessibility, knowing where to put the particular help text, description text, looking at contrast and color. So I found these very helpful. We're gonna talk about relationship design, thinking about how to build the relationships, thinking about the ethics of the design, incorporating that. The inclusive, we're talking about people who may need to have uh, the side, not be just following the standard patterns, so we have inclusive design for we, uh, inclusive and watching for being exclusive of particular user groups. And as I mentioned, a UX designer needs to know what Salesforce can do from custom objects, reports and dashboards, app customizations, the Lightning App Builder, the Lightning Design System, the Lightning Experience Productivity, and then learning about the in-app guidance and the user experience. Um, we have flows, paths and workspaces, learning about service cloud, lightning experience features. Um, you have visual force, which is old. And I found this one probably should have been um, more de-emphasized and be focusing on the LWCs. So this one felt a little legacy, not as relevant. Learning about service cloud, user training and adoption. And then again, this one should be focused more on just the lightning. You need to learn about design thinking. So focus in, coming in on, now the key elements, we're shifting to the Lightning Design System. Um, and what I wanna do is take you into the Lightning Design System. We're gonna go to the very top level. This is probably where I would consider, you know, a good third to half of your focus should be, is understanding this, the Lightning Design System. So if we talk about the platforms of Lightning and doing the overview, being able to go into, here are the actual design guidelines. You can go into the key elements, clarity, efficiency, consistency, and beauty, and being able to go into the builder and walking in and learning about how screen elements are driven, where to launch a builder, admins and flows, configurations, how you would do configurations. You know, you have a canvas, What's the structure of a header? Layout coordinations, modal windows coming into. So this is really the meat of the design. How do you use color? What is the, how is color theory? The color palettes coming into the conversational design, the language and style, data entry, learning how you're gonna do data entry, basic text input, data visualizations, displaying data with lists. Empty state was even interesting finding about this. So this is just an, uh, uh, really as a designer, UI UX designer, you, this should be one of, this should definitely be bookmarked and a place that you are constantly referring to um, because you will be coming into all of the different elements of the design. So get very familiar with the lightning design system, work your way, how things should show when they're loading, markup and then design, and then working your way from the kinetic. So this just goes on and on. And I would say if you're a UI UX designer, this should be one of your key elements. Another place to go, I would suggest, is the lightning components. So here we are, is the component reference. 
um, choose. You're going to be looking at like the lightning. Here are accordions, accordion selections, badges. You've got barcodes, cards, carousels. So I would work your way through and understand these key elements of what the Salesforce Lightning Design, Lightning Web components are capable of from tiles and trees and UI lists. And this gives you the actual elements. This is starting to enter the realm of the JavaScript developer for the LWCs, but I believe that a designer should be well familiar. So the two key elements would be the, um, the Lightning Design System elements and then moving to the Lightning Component Reference. These are key places that I think a UI UX designer and work your way through the trails. Walking through here is scenarios, the iconic iconography, and you'll see that's here in the lightning design system. So looking at the Salesforce UI UX designer, it's a great certification for those that focus in on the UI design. You definitely can, I can see overlaps with the business analyst. So you could be a business analyst who also does UI UX design, or you could just focus in on the UI UX design, gaining some of those BA skills. And then as you dive deep into the Lightning Design System and the components, you might get more hands-on, and that's where you may want the JavaScript certification. So this is a key element on a team where you're very worried about good user experience. So I see high value in the certification, um, and I see adding it with App Builder, potentially the business analyst, and definitely moving, potentially moving on to Platform Developer 1, and then going into the JavaScript developer. That would really be the growth, I see a growth path of a good UI UX designer. I hope this was helpful, and we're gonna keep diving into more certifications. So thank you for joining, excellent experience. Join us again, same bad time, same bad channel. Subscribe to www.stevetechark.com or Steve Tech Arc on YouTube, and have a great day.